thank you for staying with us. Uh, we did promise you a very interesting package today, mm -hmm. as usual. And um, do you remember that show in the early 200s? Where every Friday at 7 p.m. You mean 2000s? The edit, what did I say? 200s. Oh my God, 2000s. Like, how many oh, centuries Jesus ago Christ. now? <laughs> Jesus. Sometimes your brain is running ahead of your mouth. So no, we, we your, the mouth is running ahead of your brain. In the early 2000s. And, uh, you know, that baritone voice would ask you, put you on the hot seat and ask mm. you questions. And not just ask you questions, literally set you up. <laughs> <laughs> And you are following and willing them on to win the money, and win you, the money. You got the question right, and you are still, they are still asking you a question. Are you sure? <laughs> Very is, scared is that, somebody. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Of course, it's my final Why answer. Why did I say it? Come on. <laughs> what? Now you know what program we're talking about. It's back. And it's it... called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Well, wait a minute. Even before we get into that one, we should be asking this question. You know, the you said early 2000s right mm. they wanted to be millionaires then shouldn't we be asking who wants to be a billionaire, billionaire now? now because a million is nothing these days okay but that's why the the, 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 the bar was raised from 1 million to 20 million mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. well let's start <laughs> let's stop rumination I mean, we have those who are in the program with us this morning it's my pleasure to welcome the famous voice, the famous face on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Frank Adol. Thank you. It's an honor. Good morning. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And we also have the managing director of Unified Payments, Agada Akbuchi, who are the sponsors of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming to join Thank us you. this morning. I have a first question for Frank. Yes. Slow down. No, no, no. There's a particular, it's not related, but it is related. Fire away. It's, it's Fire one away. of those things that qualifies him to be the presenter of the program. Oh. Okay. Yes. You're a broadcaster. Yes, exactly, sir. Do you miss presenting music programs? I do, I do, all the time. I even stay, my, my wife is tired because I stay, stay at my reflection and start presenting music. I go, <laughs> all right, I say, all right, uh, you know, I say, I'm going to predict the end of this program. You are going to be blown away by the sweet smelling trail of music I have on my playlist. And, um, you know, because I have the dexterity of a designer collector when it comes to discovering music. I used to do all that in front, know, of, the mirror. Yeah, in front of the mirror and I'll be, so I, I envy all these radio presenters. Oh, and your wife will say what? My wife, she's tired. She says, stop talking to yourself. You're creeping out, you are creeping out the children. <laughs> oh, God. Well, good to have you with us, Frank. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be in, in the midst of you know, broadcasting royalty. I am, I'm very elated to be here What's right talking now. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you two. Precisely. What are you talking about? Uh, you I know, mean, there's a rumor going around. <laughs> he had some cocoa that was... Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, is, okay, is, okay, is this cocoa you had or cocoa? Uh, cocoa. Yeah. Uh, but it was laced. Uh, well, not exactly. <laughs> are you sure? Lace it with? No, no, it doesn't have to be laced because I still feel like this every time I have cocoa. <laughs> 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 oh God! Now let's get serious, Frank. Now, yes. because it's serious money. Who wants to be a millionaire? Is back. Back and better. And you are, should I say, fortunate enough to retain. Thank you. How did you know that? I'm a broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, you are still the quiz master. Yes, on yes. Who wants to be a millionaire? How yes, does that make you feel? Wow, it made me, I, I mean, I, I, I didn't flatter myself too much because I feel that I had like a 13 year uh, head start because I did the show for 13 years and if you are going to do the same show and the person I used to present it is still there on the prowl and he's on, not being and he's lurking, not, lurking in the shadows and he's not, not being scandalized he's not, oh you mean scandalized he's not being scandalized oh well um, uh, you know it's, a, it's not a moral show you know it's, unless you want to get a pastor to present but you know <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> so you know they just said uh, you know hey come on why don't we just are you free yeah come hey, on Frank, over hey Frank we have a new show for you I said oh yeah okay well they said so who wants to be a millionaire I said yeah I did that yeah that's good cool. he said yeah that's what we're saying it's back I said what do you mean it's back you know and 
they told me that uh, they wanted to come back to me. I said, why are you coming back to me? Because normally, you know, new shows, you want to go towards a new direction and everything. They said, hey, you know, if it ain't broke, don't you know, fix it. don't fix it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I feel fortunate. Yeah, Mr. Kochi. Um, you are the sponsors of the Reborn, or should I say, um, um, Born Again, who wants to be a millennia. Yeah. Why did your company or companies decide to pitch your tent with who wants to be a millionaire? Okay. Um, first, Unified Payments, or UP as we are known now, is 25 years in business. And in these 25 years, we have enjoyed the support of Nigerians. So much so that we have grown from being just unified payments to a group of companies. So it is time to give back, to say thank you. And doing that for us means empowerment, education, and entertainment. That is exactly why we are identifying with who wants to be a millionaire, mm. because it is a show that will empower people financially, because we give money out to people. It will educate, because people have to learn to be able to answer the questions. If you watch it, you know what it means to be on the hot seat with Frank. So who you need to learn. You? Who will confuse you? <laughs> so, and then thirdly, it is entertaining. Mm. Certainly, certainly that it is, that, that it is. But Frank, yes, can you tell us the new things that have been incorporated into the Born Again edition? What? Beside 50-50 beside and what's that no, other fifth, one? Okay, besides 50 and for and, a friend. Uh, and and a friend. Is that your final answer? Well, <laughs> that would be a question. Well, first of all, the, the, the studio looks marvelous, looks great. You know, I mean, if you see it in real life. Where is the lights, studio? The studio is somewhere in Lekki. Okay. So, um, apart from the studio, they try to introduce a new lifeline. Because of COVID, uh, we, we, we're not having the audience yet, mm -hmm. but they will come back in specials that we're going to do, and our independent special, Christmas special, children's special, and all that. But they decided to add something called Ask the Host. <laughs> Yeah. Now, you do know that all the questions don't come with answers. Yes. So I have to read like a broadcast and pretend I'm <laughs> the one that brought, you know, gave you the these questions. questions. I have obviously have the answers. I don't have the answers there. So they said, let's have a lifeline called Ask the Host. Frank, are you comfortable with it? I said, I'm comfortable. If I don't know it, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> like the, the, the presenter in the UK one, uh, Jeremy Claxon, there was one time they asked Who is him, himself a bit cuckoo? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, most broadcasters are, don't you think so? There's a <laughs> most, degree. except me. <laughs> except I mean, you. Yes. Oh, yes. you're perfectly normal. Yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, they asked him a question about a certain bridge somewhere, one phenomenon like that. It had to do with engineering. And they said, you want to ask the host? They said, I'll tell you. Well, you know, what a great face. said, I'm going to tell you. I don't have the answers here, but okay, let's go. He said, I have two degrees in engineering. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> the answer to this question. So, I mean, it just shows, it just shows you that the, the answers aren't there. But sometimes, you know, you just know the answers. I've failed a couple already, and we have not even gotten to half the season. So, uh, it just shows that um, no matter what, uh, you know, general knowledge is very, is vast. It's vast and it's dynamic. It continues growing and snowballing, you know. So you can't, you can't be omniscient about everything. Mm. So sometimes I feel I've been made fun of on on Twitter, <laughs> like Frank, you didn't know. I said, yeah, I didn't know. I'm human. Exactly. I didn't know. And then they say, oh wow, Frank. You know, there was a contestant that was so angry with me. He said, man, you mean to tell me you don't know the answer to this? I said. I don't. He said, why? I said, I think you should answer the question. You should answer that you are the one playing for the money. Yeah? I'm not. Yeah, just help me. I've I'm been, not. I've been paid for this job. You're you trying are, to make some money. You answer, you answer the question. Talking about, talking about payment, Mr. Kochi, um, you know, 
it's it's probably easier to see the in trail of investment or return on investment for uh, uh, a telco you know that was there before mm. who shouldn't mistake the color i'm wearing for theirs by the way but you know no yours is not as yellow i'm as just there. saying yeah. just saying yeah. <laughs> just let me just put that out there <laughs> <laughs> what's the how do you intend to make an excellent return on investment i shouldn't be asking you because you do give out a lot of money every week yeah so the first thing is, you, as a business, you've been there for 25 years. So first, think of the people that have made it possible for you to exist as a business for 25 years. Most businesses do not succeed beyond five years. So the focus first is not how much we are going to make by investing in the show, but how we will give back but it is not csr is it no oh, okay. so how, how we will give back how we say thank you now in terms of return on investment if you show appreciation and your stakeholders understand that you do not take them for granted then you have loyalty and that loyalty means that you will make a good return because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a good return is something that should be sustainable. So it costs us a lot of money to sponsor the show. Mm -hmm. And that means that you probably will increase your expense for every financial year that you sponsor the show. Mm. But the question is, if you don't have the loyalty of your customers, how would you continue in business? So the investment for us and the return on investment is the loyalty of our customers. Okay, interesting. Uh, you're spending a lot of money sponsoring this program. Are you also making a lot of money sponsoring the program? The answer is yes and no. It is no because for the show, it is an expense. It is yes because by appreciating our customers, and winning their loyalty, sustaining their loyalty, we will be able to continue in business. Okay. And that is how it is, yes. I'm going to leave it there because I'm still <laughs> looking for the answers in my head. But Frank, yes, please. Um, after 13 years rebirth, rebirth who, was, who wants to be a millionaire was the go-to you know, like the village headmaster you grew up on. <laughs> Second chance. <laughs> Second chance. Uh, yeah. And all those. Yeah. Um, Eddie Quansan. Yeah. 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 New masquerade. The new masquerade and all. Yeah. You know, so who wants to be a millionaire is coming back at a time when other shows, reality shows, have kind of taken the shine or taken the stage, so mm -hmm. to speak. The Big Brother and the rest of them like that. So... Do you see this show taking back its pride of place as the go-to, as you know, taking over the center stage all over again? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I, I really do because um, you know, who wants to be a millionaire is has been dubbed the complete game show, the best game show the world has ever seen. Period because it has all facets involved. You know, you win money, you do take your time, there's no time limit, you take your time to answer the questions, you ask, you look for lifelines and try, and you win incremental money, then you also see the next question. If you can't attempt it, you can walk away with what you won so far and all that. So, is I uh, look at it this way. When you're at a wedding and they're playing songs by these new kids that are wonderful, Davido, Wiz Kid, Burner Boy, you know, and all of, all the rest of them, Tiwa Savage and everything, everybody gets exhilarated. But when the music of King Sonia Day hits the speakers, it's a different kind of reaction. Everybody goes crazy, or young, or old alike. Ebenezer Obe, Christy Sien, Ibokwe, Oliver the Coke, Coke, Bright, Chimezi, and the rest. So, who wants to be a millionaire is in that cater, the class of a classic game show. It's not competing with any show. And besides, it's, in the, it's a different genre. It is a 
quiz game show other shows are like reality shows mm -hmm. talent shows so they are compartmentalized into other you know aspects and categories but who wants to be a millionaire is a game show well is a, a, is, a, is, a, is a kind of reality game show because the question has been asked right there yeah all game shows are reality mm -hmm. yeah yeah the questions are asked and you get instant uh, gratification. you miss it there you miss it all together that's Fr it. frank we're not, yes. we're not really a game show country you know that in america there are people who live on just attending game shows yes and oh. there is a game show channel 24 hours from one game show back to back to back to back to back mm, yes who wants to be a millionaire seems to be the only game show on our television yes do you see it surviving yes in I, this milieu where the game show is not a big thing yeah yeah the, the thing is that the reason why you think the game show is not a big thing is that it's very difficult to produce a game show in nigeria mm. Mm. because when you're talking about one of the cameras one camera you know because of the f disparity in foreign exchange you to buy one camera and you need like six or seven then you need a crane then you need the director you need the lights you need so to do a he's very very that's why we give credence to our sponsor for you know in spite of all these factors they say hey you know what we're gonna put you yeah we're in yeah. forget it do anything and they've been so supportive so Many Nigerians love game shows. You can see the microcosm is on social media when people do giveaways. Everybody goes crazy. They want, you know, to win free money. They want to, you know. But if other game shows were present, Nigeria would be that game show country. Mm. But it's just because there's, uh, we're bereft of um, productions like that. It's very expensive to perhaps, run. Perhaps and also we like, the... We like to win. We yeah, yeah, we like exactly. to win. We like free want, stuff. Who doesn't want free stuff? Remember, remember that. that time that that company was giving out cars and getting us to drink almost drink ourselves almost to our death. That thing, that thing. Jesus we'll come back to that. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the, the way you sound, you look, you look like one of those people that try As so I was much. saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you talked about be, being a game show. It's not just a game show. It's an yes. educational one. Yes. And, you know, it raises the question in my mind, Mr. Pochi, uh, about the love of for or not for education you know um so I i'm wondering since it's an it's something that's tasking for people generally it will be like Ugh, education is boring why do i have to go into this so at what point how what is it that you considered in assessing the value of sponsoring this this this, this program to the extent that you said okay you know what Let's go for who wants to be a millionaire. What are the things you considered? Okay, you know, as an organization, we have an identity. We have a personality. And that organizational identity or personality that we want to build, just like that of an individual, informs what we do. If you look at where we are as a country, you will agree that it is important for people to learn, for people to be educated. Mm. And if people are going to be educated, it means people need to invest in that. And such investment can come in different forms. So this is one of such investment. Education can be boring, but it is very dangerous to be ignorant. Mm. The cost of ignorance is so high mm. that we should, as individuals and organizations, put our money in what we take our country to where we want the country to be. Mm -hmm. So we will not just empower people and give people money. We also shape the behavior of people. Mm -hmm. People will have to seek to be educated. We want families and friends to be together. So sponsoring a game show we bring family and friends together. But it will also help people to be educated. Not only those who seek to be on the hot seat, mm. but everyone else who is watching it. Mm. There are different things that you may not have any idea 
of what the correct answer is, but by watching this show, you'll be educated. Definitely. Definitely. Then people can walk away with money, which also means that people have to work for money. And that is very important to us as an organization. It aligns with our values. You need to work for what you desire. And not just wait to get it on a platter. Not okay. that. Uh, the, the previous sponsor of this program, um, again, these colors, please. Um, they, 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 there was such a strong link to who wants to be a millionaire that had been, that had been created. Now that UP has taken over, what plans do you intend to deploy to own the, the franchise the way the previous owner owned it? Okay. There are different plans. Um, you will have a number of programs that we are working with the people who are organizing the show to ensure that people have awareness so they talk about the show through different uh, media. So there's call to action also on what people need to do to play. But one thing that is important is that we are just few weeks into the show. And this is going to last in the first instance for 52 weeks. Okay. And thereafter, we hope to continue for many years to come. Well, 52 weeks is four years. It's one, one year. whole year. Just That's one four year. quarters. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, the people that sponsored the show before, as you acknowledged earlier at the beginning of the program, this happened for over 10 years. And we have just started. So we are quite confident hmm. that the show is one that, as an organization, will be identified with our organization. And very importantly, with the values that we seek to promote hmm. as an organization. Well, Frank, are you the sole sponsors? We are the lead sponsors. Lead, okay. Right. Well, we are the lead sponsors, mm -hmm. and Fine. that makes a lot of difference, and that's Definitely. why we're having the conversation we're having with you today. <laughs> okay. Uh, a, 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 a related question to that, Alero, is this one that I would throw to, to Frank. So you've been married before? Yes, please. Now... You are remarrying, you will see. Yes. You understand what Married I'm talking new about? Husband. Yes. Please, wife, do not confuse this for any other thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how, now this group of companies have taken over the sponsorship of this program. Do you see how it can be elevated to that status? We asked this question before, but don't forget, I mean, for a broadcaster, you know how difficult it can be to transit from one brand to another, okay. for which reason the, the laws that guide our practice says we should be careful how we put one brand after the other, especially when they are not, when they are non, when they are competing brands. Okay. So if you, I'm, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking yes, about. So how, how do you elevate it to, because people can't wait 10 years. Okay. Do you yes, understand? True, true. Okay. No, I think the period of uh, hibernation also helped because it, the show was uh, stopped for like four years, you know. So even if people still have the connection of the other sponsor to the, the, the show, I mean, that... It gave people the impression that if the show comes back, of course, be, it will be like a reboot, mm -hmm. you know, and um, all old things have passed away and behold, all things are new. So we have a new sponsor. Like he said, you can't, um, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. We have segments in the show that will make sure that our lead sponsor is imprinted on so that when you see it and they are embossed on the show for a couple of quarters, you start understanding the realization that, wow, this is a new direction, a new sponsor, mm. a new show. But, you know, it's just like uh, pouring new wine in an old bottle. The taste will definitely be the same, especially if it's better wine. Mm. Yes. It's like you drank the same wine Jesus made when he came to this world. Just, Jesus. Just no, no. Okay, are you talking about the one, is it two, the one in the year 200, like she said? Okay. <laughs> 
I knew I would never <laughs> live this down. No, wait, I knew I mean, it. Let me even ask you a question that is maybe un it. unrelated to this conversation. <laughs> How does it feel being the one taking questions? It's your job as a broadcaster and host of this program to okay. be taking the questions. Okay. How does it really feel to be the one taking questions from me now, from, from us? Yeah, but there's no pressure because there's no money to be won. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just answering free questions. Where's my director? Where's my producer? I'm just answering free questions <laughs> here. Uh, you know, oh, if God. there was money, I would be sweating all over. I know that. But, hey. Well, the seat is not hot, you know. That's <laughs> no, the problem. No, 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 it's not hot. I'm just answering free questions. But okay. okay. <laughs> you, you, you've, you've just come back. Yeah. I mean, we, we appreciate that. But has anybody ever gone close to the 20 million Naira target? No, What's the see, highest you have I want, this I, season? I want, I want to say that the questions, um, let me use Nigerian parlance, the questions are not smiling. You know, <laughs> the questions are not like the questions the are not play. No, They're not a play. No, 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 no. They are not smiling at all. Okay. You know what? Like he said, you know, you know knowledge, the subliminal message mm. is uh, knowledge can be converted to earning power. Mm. That's what we want mm. to do. But we don't want to make it like easy knowledge, knowledge that you can just sit. We want you to work. We want the whole nation of Nigeria to get back to general knowledge so that anything that happens, they store it in their mental mm. database mm. and tuck it away for future use for in conversations, events, in marketing, or maybe on who wants to be a millionaire. Mm. So that's what we're saying. The question's a, a, a bit harder. Mm -hmm. A bit harder. Like, Professor yes. Frank, do you know the um, the chaser, the beast? The chase, yes. Do you know that he went on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire mm -hmm. and he only got as far as 250,000? Which of them, please? The beast. Oh, the beast. Mark Lebet. Oh, wow. And he's supposed to be the best chaser. He didn't get See, to a million. That's why I told you Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is a different, uh, you know, it's just like someone that runs a marathon. When that same person comes to a football field, to play, they'll gas out in like five minutes sure. and you'll be wondering why. Sure. So it's a different thing, you know, The Chase, that's a wonderful show. Oh yes. But when you're not My in- My favorite game show. Oh, is that your favorite game show? Yes. Oh wow, <laughs> your favorite game show is The Chase, not Who Wants to Be a <laughs> Well, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is just coming back. Oh. So I'm just getting into it again. Oh, oh nice escape, nice escape. <laughs> Nice I'm just getting into it again. This is what happens and when like broadcasters. I told you, somebody has put me down as their, um, for, you know, color friend. Uh, oh. Oh yes. Oh really? Oh yes. yes. She, she received, when she when we told when we announced that we're going to be talking with you and um, who wants to be a millionaire. The person she, sent she me a message. The that I, the person when is it for the friend? They put me down as their you. friend. Oh wow! Oh, wow! That's great. The, That's someone great. must have put you down as well as as phone a friend. Phone a friend too. No, no, nobody is that drunk enough. <laughs> Why are you putting the host on for the friend? I'm gonna. Why am I gonna call myself? <laughs> yeah, <sometimes. laughs> I want to. I want to call Frank. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody did See? something like that. You know, Crazy, the Nigerians yeah. are very, very. You know, so Crazy. so Nigerians look for ways to wriggle out of situations, and some of them, those in the first series, they used to say, uh, "So, Frank, what do you think is the right answer?" Oh, they ask oh. me that. I'll be like, "So, Clever. so now." When they tell me that, what do you think is the right answer? I'm like, oh, are you using Ask the Host? Oh, oh. <laughs> Go on, I can, I can do it. There was someone that was, you know, was so nervous. Firstly, the guy backstage tells me, Frank, look, it's going to be easy. I'll tackle you, don't worry. I'm like, oh, wow, I'm happy for you that you have this nerve. Yeah. All right, let's go. So when we started the show, you know, he got five questions easy. On the sixth, seventh question, the things are coming on him. I'm like, hey, so how's that confidence of yours doing? He looked at me and said, um, I'm confident. Don't worry, don't worry. You know, so he said, I think this is the answer. So I went, is that your, your final? final? In the most scary <laughs> of sounds, I went, is that your final answer? He was literally shaking. He looked at me in desperation. He went, he said, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're certainly having fun on this show. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the success of this uh, uh, sponsorship, uh, Mr. Apuchi, um, it lies in the capacity of the production company involved. And um, Frank has given us some ideas of the cost of a camera. I happen to have an idea myself. Oh, oh, and sometimes yeah. it's, the camera is expensive, but 
the lens is expensive. Oh, oh, of course. By all means, <laughs> 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 by, by all means, especially if they are production uh, cameras, exactly. there are special lenses you have to put. I think it's easy PZ, uh, PZ Can you imagine lenses. A, a lens, Frank, oh, don't could go be, into it. Could be thrice the, the price of, of the camera. The camera, because that's where the look is obtained. Yeah. Yes. So, how would you assess your the the capacity of that production company to deliver on the mandate? Well, um, the fact that we entered into a contract to sponsor this is a demonstration of our confidence in the stakeholders that we work with. We have no doubt that they will deliver. And for that reason, we are in this for a very long haul. It's not just for 52 weeks. Ah. Hint, hint. So, hint. Whoa, I missed that. So, <laughs> what, what, what so, so we are in this for a very long time. But we have no doubt that they will deliver. And we have no doubt that through the show also, our customers, we connect with our services and solutions and that of our partners. Okay. Well, Frank, this yes. one last question. Yes, please. What Closing. would you be saying to your audience as the show resumes? What okay. are you saying to them now? Okay. All right, what I'm going to say to the audience as the show resumes is, don't come there if you don't know anything. No, 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 let me rephrase, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say to the audience is that the show is refreshing, it's, it's wonderful, the studio is awesome. And uh, although the questions are a bit harder, but I'm sure if you are well versed in the craft of um, modest general knowledge, you can get by because we have lifelines. You have uh, phone a friend, you have 50-50 still, and you have me. I have pity on them on that one, but no problem. But you have be, I mean, with all those factors combined, it's still a wonderful show. Whether you're watching or whether you're participating, mm -hmm. it is the rebirth of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, sponsored by UP, produced by Black Hot, presented by me, and adored by the nation. Can I ask? Can I wow. sneak in? Can I sneak in one last question? He, he's writing scripts. Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> can I sneak in this last one? Yes. Yes, please. I since all things are passed away, just as you said. Yes. Please. Is there a plan for a compendium of questions to rehearse before I come to who wants to meet me? No, no, we have no business with that. Really. I'm the only. So we have no business with that. Past questions. Yes, yeah, past, past questions. Past 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 you think it's why? Yes. Past questions will not repeat. You know, past 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 yes, at least it will help me rehearse. Okay, yes. for them to say, okay, just like the syllabus, like Something saying, I, okay, you the go to do jam now, or you do uh, like. You know, I have an answer to that. <laughs> he wants expo, but only. I'll give you that answer. <laughs> right after after this. Like after this. <laughs> 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 the question break. Frank <laughs> host who wants to be a millionaire series to yeah. the rebirth. Thank you very much for coming. And Thank he came you. along with the managing director of UP. Unified Payments, Mr. Agada Apuchi. Good thank morning. You. Thank Again. you. And thank you very much for coming. Thank all you. we can do now is wish you all the best. Thank you. I'm sure that Nigeria is happy that who wants to be a millionaire is back and they are watching all the time, every week. Thank you. Thank Sunrise will be right back with another interesting conversation. Do stay with us.